We are live. Hey there. Welcome back, everybody, to the Draw Juice universe, where I'm going to give you some juice about drawing. It's 2022, the first live stream of this year. And um, I'm Chris Petraki, or if you're new here, don't forget to describe, subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on all notifications. Um, Master Yoda says, hey there, mister. Yes, hello, Master Yoda. Um, today, I'm going to draw in ballpoint pen. And I've got some new cool pens here that uh, I'm sure we're going to like here. Master Yoda, he says, I wanted to know about the best live stream that you have about drawing the head. If you do one, please feel right to write it down in the chat. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> it's a good one. I've done a lot of live streams. Um, I'll have to think about that. Um, <clears throat> well, let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I could recall that actually. <laughs> but um, thank you for the question. Andre, how you doing? Happy New Year. Yeah, and Happy New Year to you, Master Yoda. Glad you're here. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, challenging your assumptions. Let me know if you can hear me over the music or if the music's bothersome or whatever. But I'll be checking out the chat a little bit. And um, let's see. Yes, challenging assumptions. And <clears throat> let's see, before I get started, I'm over here on Earth's World which is kind of a collection of photographs of American people at fairs. And so I really like this, um, this feed, this Instagram feed, great for reference. So just to start off, um, <clears throat> challenging assumptions. What I was going to say there was that when I challenged assumptions, I wrote down, I have to draw and paint like Michelangelo. I have to be the best, make big money, be successful, be liked by others, have my art appreciated by others, have to do great stuff every time, be able to do it all at a high level. Create something beautiful, not expose my inner self. So the advantage of doing something like this is once you know what your assumptions are, because a lot of times our assumptions are, are hidden, right? They're kind of like presuppositions. We may have not thought them out yet and getting them down on paper may be shocking, you know? It, or it may be just the shock that you need to say, hey, I don't really believe that, but that's what's driving me. You know, like, I have to paint like Michelangelo. Do I? Could I really be that good? Or is he really relevant now, you know, for just m doing something modern? You know, of course he's great, right? Um, but I could... I don't have to paint like him. Um, I can take aspects of him. And <clears throat> do I have to be the best? I don't think there is a best. I don't have to be the best. I'm my own best. I, and I measure that by who I was yesterday. And that's a more reliable guide for evaluating where I'm at, right? It's just comparing myself to how, uh, who I was yesterday rather than to some mega famous Michelangelo who's been an influence throughout the centuries. It's not fair. 
<laughs> um, you know, do I have to be liked by others? No. Is it nice to have my art appreciated by others? Yeah. Um, do I have to do great stuff every time? No. I mean, I want to, but I don't have to. And by relieving myself of some of the stuff, some of the stuff I can keep, some of it I will just release and let go. Um, and so, you know, I'd recommend doing something like that. So to get started, I'm just going to do some blind contour drawings just to warm up because I haven't warmed up. And I'm doing this ballpoint pen thing for the first time. Hey, Arado Arts, Happy New Year. Thanks. We had a good holidays, you know. Um, it's a really busy time as it is for most people. By the way, I'm just going to do a blind contour to warm up. And um, I'm going to act as if my... I'm not going to look at the paper. And I'm just going to look at the... Um, wait, I'm going to look at the paper. I'm not going to look at the photo reference. I'm just going through here. Just do whatever. Okay, go back to this one. <laughs> not going to look at the paper. I'm going to look at the photo reference. And it's as if my eyes and hands, right? I want them to communicate. I want them to become one. And so what this exercise does is I like to say it's as if my hands had the capacity to see. So as my eye looks at the photo and kind of travels across the image, I want to kind of make believe that my hand is doing the same thing. It's looking at the photo. And then my eyes, I kind of want it to do, as it's looking over the photo, I want it to be like my hands, touching the paper. And in this way, my eyes and my hands become, become one, right? Thus the term hand-eye coordination. The other thing it does is I'm really observing. So as I'm getting my hand warmed up, I'm not worried about any results. The worse it is, actually, the better. That's how I know I'm doing a good job. I'm warming my hand up, warming my hand-eye coordination up, and I'm also observing. Like I'm really looking. I'm not worried about making it look good. And I'm looking at each plane. I'm looking at each angle and turn. Each relationship of light to dark. Of one line to another line. Of a horizontal to a diagonal. To an angle. This is really good to do with like flowers. Because there's a lot of cool stuff to draw. Um... A lot of shapes. Let me see. And so the other thing is, is I don't lift my hand off the page. Just relax. And just kind of get into the zone. Hey, Happy New Year, Dan. What's happening? Mon frere, thank you for that awesome video that you made. It was killer. Yes. Dan was studying with me for a while. And um, I asked him to kind of do a review. And uh, he did a video review, which is really cool. And I think we did this, Dan. Didn't we do this exercise? We did this... Um, blind contour stuff. You don't want to go too fast. If you're going too fast, you're not observing. So you need to slow down. Slow the world down. And you'll get into... You'll melt. You'll melt. 
into time and space will just melt away. Look at him on this hair and it's just like, wow. But I'm able to see kind of the rhythms of the hair, the groupings of the hair, the organization, which I normally, you know, I wouldn't slow down to maybe notice that. I would think, oh, just hair, that's not important. I want to get to the eyes, nose, mouth. But this step is a supporting, supporting role. Okay, so there, that's how it is. That's how it looks. That's cool. I like that. Fun. I would have never, you know, you come up with things that you would never think to do intentionally. And so what's neat about that is that you can take this. Um, <clears throat> let me know if you can see this whole thing. I think I drew a little bit high, but you can take an aspect of this and prop it and maybe frame it and say, I just like this part. And so it's a great compositional device or maybe even this stuff up here. And, you know, like that stuff there. And take that and blow it up, put it on a canvas, you know, color it in, use some thumbnails and that's fun. So it's something I should do. I should do it more, you know, it is pretty fun. But this in total, I like it. It's fun. All right. So I've got a brand new sketchbook here and I just bought this thing. And it seems, let me go get the um, cover to it. Hold on a second. It's a German sketchbook. I have, no, I have no idea about this company. Um, looks like this nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Hanem, Hanemul. So that's it. Looks like it's all kind of written in German. So it's cool, it's like a 90 pound, 190 gram per square meter um, paper, 80 pages, it's pretty good so far. Um, so I'd never heard of that company before. Oh, Dan says, I made him suffer enough with a sorrow. But you're grateful, right? Suffering, it was good suffering. I think it was. Okay, so let's pick some face. And what I like about this sketchbook is it lays out flat, it seems to. It has a nice binding to where you can open it up. And there's not like this gutter that sucks in everything. Where your drawing gets... Oh, nice job. Drop my pen. Okay. So, let's start. I gotta figure out where my boundaries are. And I'm watching this. Uh, oh yeah, and so, another thing is before I get started, I'm going to start with a couple ideas in mind. And you can think of your faces, your heads, as characters. They're kind of like characters in a movie, right? So you have this, this head uh, variations. Right? They're like like characters, like personalities. You think of them as personalities. And so you've got, I'm gonna start with kind of like an outside in approach. So I'm gonna look at something and say, what kind of shape is this or combination? So you've got your circle and 
this is shape language now, okay? So the shape language has a psychology to it. So what is this? This one says friendly, right? It sends the message that it's approachable. It's innocent and naive. It's safe. Okay, those are some things you could say about this kind of shape. The next shape that I'm going to use or look for is this square blocky one. What does that tend to say to me? It says strong, stable. It says boring, right? doesn't move very fast and so it's dependable so these are all adjectives to describe this thing the relationships right think of them as characters the last one of my simple scheme here is the triangle so this is kind of like youthful nimble fast dangerous right because of these points and so danger right and so use caution or run like hell <laughs> okay so that's kind of one way that I'm gonna get into this here so where are we this guy he's kind of a He's a blocky kind of thing. So let's use blocky in a language to get him going. Lots of straights, too many curves. All right. So shape of the head, you know, Really important mask of the face let's say let's go for that let's break it down and using using a pen like this um, It helps you make commitments and not linger on stuff too long, right? Because the more that you can mess around with stuff like using pencil, being able to change things all the time, um, you know, then you don't commit to stuff. And I think this kind of mark making forces me just to shows me where I'm at. It, it helps me to kind of build up some confidence, you know, like eventually I get used to that if I'm making the wrong marks all the time, it's going to show me, you know, and I'll correct things quicker over time. And, you know, I won't make those same mistakes, hopefully. So it's kind of like, it helps me gain confidence, even though it's showing my errors. I'm using that to, to grow.
the small eyes of this dude. So, let me see. Um, yeah, for the holidays, it's such a busy time. We, you know, it's Christmas, then it's New Year's, then it's my wife, and it's our anniversary on January 3rd, and then January 21st is my birthday. So, there's just a lot of stuff. There's too much stuff. Um, so I kind of don't enjoy that rush so much. You guys feel, feel free to draw along with me.
you could remember, but it's been a while since I was here, so sorry.
to remember, but it's been a while since I've eaten this all day.
Been watching Michael. Hey, Michael. Oh, man, I'm getting... I think I'm done. Thanks for watching. I've been struggling with these pens, man. These different pens. I thought, you know, I hadn't used these at all. These jelly roll stuff. And so I thought, yeah, I'm just going to add some color. And it's going to be fun. But they didn't work as well as the ballpoint pens. 
they were dragging and skipping across the paper and uh, not fun. So um, that's what I got to say about that. I don't know if I should take them back. Just got them. Seems like a fun idea. I like having, you know, the idea of color around and being able to go for it like that. But uh, they were a bit uh, unwieldy. Kind of blue one was okay, but. Anyway, you gotta step back, look at them, you know, and say, okay, what parts were good? You know, like I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one down here. And then I like this guy over here. Turned out pretty good. And then these guys were just the beginning, so they were just kind of, uh, uh, you know, you definitely do warm up and get better over the course of like an hour, hour and a half. So there it is, people. Uh, hey, if you want to join the Discord, link is in the description. And there's the first month challenge, the first challenge of 2022 in the Discord server. So jump in there, and that goes till about the 27th, the end of January. And you're creating a character. So jump in there, find details, and get moving. Uh, if you want to support the channel, remember to like and subscribe and hit the notifications and um, I think there's a PayPal link there too if you want to give a donation. Cool. Um, and otherwise, I think I'm gonna sign off and have a cup of coffee. So it's been great hanging out with y'all. And um, I'm sorry in the middle somewhere of the stream, I thought I lost the stream. And so I, I might have inadvertently ended it, but uh, got back on, so. Uh, uh, Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and um, let me know in the chat what you'd like to see me cover, or what you would like to subject matter would be cool for you. All right, until then, God bless everybody out there. Be safe, and um, hopefully life will get back to normal soon, okay? Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.